Now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Paramed Tukdi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting of the Red Hunter, 24 years of age. She stands 167 centimeters tall and weighed with it and 17 pounds. She holds a record of 43 wins and 13 losses. She is Estonia Muay Thai national team and Poetian Fight Night champion, representing Estonia. Let's have it for Marie, the Snow Leopard, Rube. Connor, 21 years of age. She stands 165 centimeters tall and weighed in 18 pounds. She holds record of 29 wins and 13 losses. She is IFMA World Championship gold medalist representing Ubon Rajatani Province, Thailand. The Chilvet Ball, Gamlai Pat, Pachindi, Academy. All right, pressure is on. The Snow Leopard. Three and two minute rounds at 118 pounds. Here we go, round one. Low kick from Gamlai Pet, teeth from Marie. Gamlai Pet once again going to the legs. Oh, oh, oh. big right hand from Gamlai Pet. And that's what she's known Oof. for, that right hand. And again. Especially caused some issues for Som Ratsumi in their title fight early on this year. Marie Rumet did a great job against Barbara. And can she do this again? Well, she neutralized pretty much all the attacks that Barbara threw her that day. Not a great start here for Marie. Instead, a great start from Gamai Petty. Once again, he's targeting the left leg of the Snow Leopard. The clinch there from Marie, she's looking stronger now. She's got a little bit of an eye hatus from the sport previous to her first bout against Quan Jai. Competing at 115 pounds, a little bit lower than that. And now she's found a home for herself, got a body in shape for 118 pounds. Oh, tempted elbow there from Gamlai Pet. Training at Sassy Prapar, I believe. Oh. When she comes to Bangkok. Still pretty close round. Kamai Pet doing a good job. Mary, the one engaging. Is she landing enough shots though? Ooh, good knee there. And again. Looking strong in the clinch though. She is using that. A little bit of height advantage that she has in the clinch. So thrust those knees into the body of Gamlai Pet. Gamlai Pet throwing with venom right now. Good left kick from Marie. End of round number one. Close. Yeah. Once again, I said this all night, but I can see <laughs> Either judge can see it going to either way, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how they did call it. Mm. We haven't had a split decision on a round yet here. Absolutely. In RWS. Are we about to see one? Might be the case. It's close. Gamlai Pet starting well, throwing a big right hand. Good elbows. Marie looking stronger just in the clinch. That could be a factor. But good accuracy there from Gamlai Pet. Oh. Got a very apprehensive Quan Jai and Barbara looking on right now. Let's see what happens here in round number two. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You can see, like I said, split decision. Judge two okay. scoring in favor of Marie Gamble on one and three. And Marie Rumet is not going to like that. She wants to go through every single round. Is actually going to matter. Indeed, it is. Oh, big right hand there from 
Dumb like that once again. Solid knees. Really frustrating Marie Rumey right now. But she's being the aggressor. That's what you like to see here on RBS, but Dan Lipet's so accurate with that right hand. And the knee being driven into the body there from both fighters in the clinch. Oh! That was a big shot there from Marie. And a good left kick there from Marie. And again with that left kick cornering. Dan Lipet. Let's not forget, a knockout will send her through to the final four. And slowly but surely, the output of Marie yeah. is taking it to Kamalai Pet now perhaps slowing down a yes, little bit. She's gone, up. she's gone up a level here. And even when Kamalai Pet does get through, doesn't really perturb Marie, she just continues to throw. Come right, like Pat. Not throwing as much as she was in the first round. At least not connecting as much. Oh, look at that. Another right kick to the body there from Marie. Oh, oh big right hand from Gab Lipet. And that's quiet in the corner of Marie, momentarily at least. The knees to the midsection. End of a fast and furious round number two. Both fighters putting their arms in the air. They think they've done enough. This is tense moments now for Marie Roumet. Future of this tournament, of her tournament, rests in the hands of the judges. How oh, did they score it? Before that, let's have a look at the highlights from the round. Damn my pet, so lethal with that right hand. Left kicks are plenty from Marie. And right kicks to the body. But who was the more accurate fighter? Hey, you can see that one. huge elbow from the Snow Leopard. But big right hands in reply from the on the screen. But somebody in the VIP is just dancing his way off. Loving the end of this night. <laughs> He's having a great time. He's got more energy than me right now. <laughs> And here goes the final round of the evening. Can Marie Rume take it home? Will she make it to the final four? Or whoa! Oh. Not a knockdown yet though. Or can, can a come like that though? Stop that losing streak. Team there for Marie. Right kick to the body. Big right oh. hands from Gun Like Head. Marie returns fire. Knees there from the Snow Leopard. Marie not making it easy for a Kamalai Pet right now. It's also great to see Kamalai Pet pushing forward. We've seen her fight on the back foot so many times, not working out quite well. And now she's pushing forward, taking a fight to Mary. I'm being told, or at least I think I'm being told, that Quan Jai on the round counts has scored more than Barbara has. So if it stays like this and Marie goes through, I'm not sure of the scores of Marie, so we'll have to wait for that. Of course. Ah. But I think that Quan Jai will be guaranteed to go through as it stands. Okay. Interesting. So who will be going through between Mary and Barbara? That's that right. is the question. If Marie, it might be very wins close with the fact that Gamlai Pet took rounds from her. Absolutely. 45 seconds left on the clock. Could you imagine losing by like just one point oh. on the split decision? The kicks to the midsection there from both fighters. A good round from both fighters. It's great to see Kamai Pet more aggressive, but look at that. Good ranking, well timed from Mary. Again, more output. Oh, nice left hand from the Snow Leopard. Kamai Pet looks like she's slowing down a little bit right now. Love the corner of Marie, really cheering her on. Mm. They like what they see, but like I said, if she does indeed win this fight, it was all about how many rounds that she's won. And we will clarify who indeed goes through very, very soon.
Well, you can see, if you can see the corner of Marie Rume, they seem very happy. They think that she's done enough. Let's have a look at the highlights. Got my pet pushing, pressing and pushing and doing everything in a power. To try and take it to Gun Like Pet, to make it at least uncomfortable. You can see in slow motion, constant right hands throughout the entire fight from the Gun Like Pet. A big elbow from Marie Rume. Well, like I said, as I think, as it stands, when Jai is through, it will be about Barbara, and if Marie gets a hand raised, it will be about Marie. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Boy Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. card. The first judge scored is about 29 to 28. The second judge scored 30 to 27. And the third judge scored 29 to 28. And you'll be there by way of unanimous decision. Who joins us? We'll find out very soon.